Ahoy, Salty Dogs. My name is Lenscap. Welcome to StarMade. I haven't played this game in over a year now, and a lot of things have changed. I would be 100% lying if I had said if I said that I had kept up with it whatsoever. I have no idea. T for torch? How do I turn off my flashlight? F? See, I don't even know the controls anymore. Okay, it's not that. I can toggle the HUD, and I can jump between ships, but that's really all I remember. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of things have changed as well with, like, power and stuff, um, again. Because if I hop in the cockpit of this ship here, we're using, like, 200% of our reactor? Where did I see that before? Yeah, power consumption, it's right. How do I detach my mouse? Control? I thought control did it. I don't know the controls whatsoever. I'll have to look in the system configs. Um, we're using like between a one and a third, one and two thirds, and two times the amount of power that we are supplying to this ship. And literally, that's just sitting here idle. We're not even moving. Um, those ships are moving. We're not moving. So that's a problem. Uh, jumping between all of my ships that I have here, they all seem to be doing that. So that's something we're going to have to look into. But man, I forgot about these guys. These are so intricate and detailed. I forgot how uh, how much I've done here. Um, how much work I'd actually put into this. Stop moving. How much work I'd actually put into this. I was thinking about this ship specifically the other day. And I was like, eh, I would like to redesign that one again, maybe. This one, I love this ship, but it does not have enough power. Um, I think there's still room in it, though. Yeah, there's... We're still drifting. Uh, there, so there's still lots of room inside of it, though. So I think we could potentially outfit this one. We're still drifting. Stop drifting. Okay, let's just hop from ship to ship. I also was thinking about, uh, this ship up here, the Cutlass. Um, let's jump into it and look at it. And I, this ship is my favorite. This is probably my favorite ship we have. Okay, but today, um, I don't really want to talk about the ships we've already done. They're done. We're done with those. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this little engine bit here. We might need to mess with that some. I'm not sure. There's no thrust in this ship. How's power consumption look on it? It's not using anything, but that's because it has no shields. Um, today, we're not talking about ships. We're going to fix these, I guess, probably eventually, maybe. Um, but today, I wanted to start work on the actually on the Titan. That's right. We're building Titans. I want to start Titans plural, maybe. Uh, who knows? That slipped out, but maybe it'll happen. I want to start. Uh, so I don't have really like a design concept in mind um, at all. But I thought I had an idea for a couple of pieces. So we want our Titan to be like a carrier, kind of. I want at least four shuttles. So we need to build a bay, a shuttle bay for four shuttles. I think we'll start with that. Start with shuttles. Uh, four of those, maybe like eight of these. I don't know if we even want that one, because that's just a smaller version of this. And this is much a, a much cooler ship. So maybe like three of these or something. Uh, and they all need to dock inside of it. The biggest issue, the biggest thing we're going to run into if we build our ship as a carrier is that, like, these sails are massive. They're really big, and they just are... It, it, if they, if these ships have to park inside of the Titan, think about how big that shuttle bay is going to have to be. You know, if we've got three of these, it doesn't have to be very wide. None of these ships are wide at all, are very wide. But look how long it is. It's pretty long, and it's very tall. Um, so, I mean, we could put three right next to each other, and that really wouldn't be that large, I guess. Um, but today we're focused on the shuttle, I think. We're gonna build some hangar bays, uh, for this shuttle. Like I said, I'd like to have four. And I think we could do this in an interesting way. Um, since, since gravity is not always down in space. We might be able to play with gravity and have these ships in such a way that we can kind of squeeze them in to a smaller space uh, than if we just lined them up like right next to each other or something. I'm going to start playing around with that a little bit and I'll cut back in 
once I've kind of got something to show, just like a like a quick mock up of my of my concept. So this is the general idea. Um, this is just a a mock up, you know, right? Like a general idea. Like if we put two ships like right ways up and two ships, or even one, we may just have three, um, but we put one upside down. Um, we can we can do some tricks with gravity to make the hangar work. And I think that would be interesting, right? Having a ship that uh, that you that plays around with gravity in that way, I think would be really neat. Um, I haven't really seen anybody do that. But of course, I haven't kept up with the community in a year, so maybe I'm not original. Uh, maybe I'm not as original as I thought. Looking at this mock-up, um, I like the concept. I think I want to move this upside-down ship to its down, but our up um, a couple of blocks so that the sails are flat with each other. I think that would look better. Although, having it kind of staggered like this could be interesting. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, where the ships would... You know what? Let me build it. Show, don't tell, right? Let's build it. So, if we decided to do the design this way, this is kind of what the hangar bays would look like from the outside of the ship. Obviously, this isn't going to work. The core of the hangar is in the way, and this is just a mock-up anyway. Um, just like proof of concept. I kind of like this shape, actually. I was thinking uh, three, you know, originally in my head, I saw three hangers, um, you know, um, equally spaced, like flat on the bottom and flat on the top. I kind of like them offset like this, though. That's very interesting. And we could use the shootout rails um, to push them through this water gate, the water airlock, so to speak. I like this idea. I like this idea. I think we just need to uh, kind of incorporate this and gussy it up a little bit. Um, figure out how we can turn this into an actual hangar. Um, you know, things. some questions we need to answer are things like, how much space do we put between the nose of this ship and the actual, like, airlock part? If we do leave extra space, why? Is it for maintenance? Do we put maintenance bays? That would actually be pretty interesting if we put walkways underneath so that mechanics could access the guts of the ship, so to speak, um, and perform uh, work on them, you know, while they're, while they're docked. That could be really cool, actually. Um, okay. Okay, I'm getting ideas. Oh, man, I'm so full of ideas right now. It's, it's crazy. I'm loving it. Okay, got a little bit of work done here. I am just going to grab some gravity quickly. Can I deselect? Thank you. I'm just going to grab some gravity quickly um, so we can take a look at it. So I was thinking it'd be interesting to be able to service the, the ships right from below. So there's like a maintenance bay that goes down. Uh, so you can access kind of this area if you are going to have to service this. Part. Um, we might extend this even a little bit further to get under there. The problem is you can't exactly cut in front of this thing because uh, the sail gets in the way very, very quickly. We're at about the limit of where we can go right here for sure. Um, we might be able to do some like swinging, folding action. That would be kind of cool. Um, but uh, but uh, I'm not ready for that just yet. So you can kind of get here under the engines. Um, we may drop this a little bit, actually, because I can't quite walk right here. I'm hitting my head. Um, and then over to the other side for the other dock. Um, we'll probably mirror that kind of concept over on this side as well. I just haven't done that yet. Um, again, this is just kind of piecemealing things together to see what I like. So I also thought it would be interesting to not only be able to service the ships from underneath, but from above. And instead of having to climb like on top of the ship and work down, I thought since we're already playing with gravity in a weird way, let's ship service the ship upside down. Let's see, should we put guardrails here and here? Yeah, we should. We'll do that. Um, so now we can service this upside down ship as well, um, working like above our heads on the top of it. So I thought that was kind of an interesting concept as well. This is my first time walking around here, so I wanted to do it with you guys and make sure that it's relatively safe, like we're not going to fall off stuff. 
I mean, if we do, whatever, right? We're pirates, just don't be an idiot. It wasn't exactly safe working in topsails, I'm sure, um, on a on a pirate ship or a sailing vessel, um, you know, 150 years ago or whatever, 200 years ago. Anyway, I digress. So that is kind of the concept. I like the direction this is going. It's very gray. Uh, it's very gray. It's very scaffoldy. I might put rails here. Actually, I can't walk through here if the ship is there, so I, I think I'm okay with that. It's very gray. It's very scaffolding. Um, as you're walking through it in astronaut mode, I think it makes sense. But looking at it from afar, there's a lot of layers and depth. I might add some more solid pieces to these kind of maintenance areas, kind of like we have this this ring around here um, of regular hull. I'm not sure though, honestly. I kind of like that it's very industrial and very like bare bones. I kind of like that. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'll mess with it some and and see what I can see what I come up with. Yeah. So that's that's the concept. I guess we should add. Just keep building. Just keep working on things and adding things until we get um, until we get kind of what we're looking for. I like where this is headed though. If you thought it looked like a jumbled mess of just gray scaffolding and stuff before, man, you were right. But now, you'd be even more right. Oh, I missed some blocks here. That's okay, I'm not going to deal with that right now. Um, so I did scaffolding around all three of the guys. Oh, I missed some there too. Okay, just a couple of things to, to clean up on still. Uh, I think I wasn't sure how to do the scaffolding there, and that's why I left those like that. These are backwards for an artifact of copy-paste kind of stuff. Um, but I got... Working upside down like this sucks. <laughs> it's very confusing. Everything is weird and wonky. I forgot railings on this section, uh, but don't judge me too harshly. It sucks working upside down like that. Okay, but uh, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I think it's I think it's coming along. We need some color now. It It is very gray. Everything is gray or dark gray. Um, it's all just metal. Um, not metal mesh, the other one. Metal grates. And um, and rails and, and regular grates, they're called. And that kind of stuff. It's very messy. Is that an extra block? Do those count as extra blocks? I'm not sure. I might need those. Um, but yeah, it's it's looking good. It's looking good. Let's run around on it, huh? Okay, so let's go get some gravity. We'll run around on it. Now, the weird thing is we won't exactly be able to, un to run around on the upside down part yet. Actually, yeah, let's, let's run around on the upside down part. That'd be more interesting. Because I haven't done that yet. All right, so now we are on the gravity that is upside down or inverted from the main part of the ship. And here's our view. Okay, so this is kind of a cool... It's really disorienting because that's the ground, but this is the ground. Okay, so we can run over here, right? We can come down here. We can maintain our engines or we can climb down this part. I need to add in some lights for sure. Maintain this section of our ship. Okay, I like this so far. Stairs don't quite work in this game exactly. I need railings here still. Okay, we can come over to this side. That's good. Here's a ladder. I'm missing a block there. Okay, let's climb up the ladder. We get this little, like, access corridor. The reason I have to have this corridor is you can only jump, um, like, five blocks. So if we, if this were any taller, if this ladder were any taller, we wouldn't be able to make it up to the top. All right, so then we can jump up to this uh, this height and work on the engines of this ship, which is a different ship. Yeah, we can come down here. We can work over here. These stairs are a little funky, but that's stairs in this game just are funky. I like that. And then if we want to go over to the other ship, we have to go. We have to find our ladder or jump off the edge. Uh, I don't like this. I should put a I should put a block there. Is there one on this side? Yeah, see, we fall into space. That <laughs> that's not good. We don't want to fall into space. I don't mind falling into the ship, but I don't want to fall into space. Okay, yeah, if we want to go to the other ship, then we've got to walk over this way and across and up this ladder, which is fine. 
There's a missing block as well. Okay, so we got a couple of blocks to fill in that are missing. Um, but I like where this is headed. I really like the direction this this is going, this project is going. How do I activate this? Hello? Oh, okay. I, I am currently not in gravity. But still upside down for some reason. Um, I like the direction this is going. It needs a little bit of color now. So we'll put, we'll start putting in, you know, our first kind of detail pass. I think that's what we need next. And then I guess I'll come back and we'll see where we are at that point. I thought it'd be cool to have some things maybe filling all this blank space we have in between the sails of the, of the various ships. I put in these fuel containers. I like the idea. Uh, I think the fuel containers is a good idea. I'm not sure about the execution, right? So I, th I think we'll move these. Maybe give three for each ship instead. That might be a little more interesting. Maybe a bigger one. One big one that feeds into the holding tanks or something. I'm not sure. But I need, I need something to fill all this space. I mean, I guess we could just have a lot of empty space. Uh, that's entirely reasonable, I guess. But some cool, like, fuel tanks or something could be a cool idea. Um, I routed pipes as well. Oops, missed one. I routed pipes as well, just to a place that maybe fuel goes here. I don't know. Um, but on this back one, on the top one, it routes in between the thrusters. I thought maybe that's a bad idea. Probably you don't want your fuel pipes, you know, routed through where thrust happens. So we might move that. In fact, we're definitely going to move that. I'm going to move all those fuel tanks. I like the idea again, but I'm not sold on the execution just yet. Um, added in some hazard armor, I think that's what it's called. I don't I don't exactly remember. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Um, but I added that in a couple of spots, and already it's giving us a lot of life. Um, I think on our final pass, we're going to add like cargo boxes and stuff all over the place. That's how I like to decorate. Uh, when in doubt, just throw containers everywhere. That'll, uh, that'll fix it, I'm sure. Um, but there you have it. That's, uh, that's where we sit for now. I, I like it. I like it. It's becoming, uh, it's becoming a thing. I think adding the color from the fuel containers will help. I think adding the hazard striping will help. Um, alright, so let's move those. Let's maybe maybe work on this a little bit longer, move the fuel containers, and see what else I can come up with. Maybe I'll have another strike of inspiration as well. Here's what I came up with. It's not bad. Uh, it's not, it's not bad. I'm, I, uh, I'm on the fence, right? Do I love it? Maybe. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty good. I'm okay with it. So, I ended up doing three different tanks. There's like a fuel one, like a coolant one, and some other maybe lubricant of some kind. Um, yeah, fuel, coolant, lubricant, I don't know, some kind of spacey stuff that we need. I've got them connected to the back of the ship here. I guess when we redesign this ship again for the seventh time, or however many iterations we've had to do this, um, we'll make sure to put places in the back that these things can actually, like, look like they're plugging into. I think that would be good. I use paint cans uh, to dye the pipes, the various colors. Kind of looks like there's liquid going through them or something maybe. I don't know. That's not, it's not terrible. The gray, when I just had gray pipes before, it was too gray. It just didn't work out very well. But I like this. Uh, I like this pretty good. We've got everything holding itself under here. It all looks connected and solid and sturdy. This looks like a big mess, and uh, I think once we get walls and things inside, it'll look better. But it's pretty good. Um, I see no reason that these should be so far away from the nose of the ship. We might move them so that they're much closer. Maybe just like one block away, maybe two at the most. Right now, I think they're four. Uh, but uh, yeah, we might move it closer to the nose of the ships um, before we decide its final placement. Um, obviously, I haven't really done any walls or anything or exterior stuff and also i didn't put tanks on the top ship i'm not quite sure how i want to go about doing that for this one yet uh these under here are symmetrical and it looks good um but i obviously if i've got three tanks up here i can't do them symmetrically 
So I'm not sure how I want to do this one just yet. Um, but we'll figure it out, you know, no rush, no rush. I might hang them, like, way from the ceiling um, instead of from the bottom of the, kind of, this bit. And also, I'm not sure, I still have a lot of empty space here. I'm not sure what to do with that. If I, I may even just fill it in with something. Um, I could put rooms or something in there. These doors don't necessarily have to be rectangular either. We could, uh, we could adjust their shape so they match the ships better. Although, that's kind of silly. Um, you know, there's no reason to not have them rectangular. But, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. Um, leave, uh, leave some comments. If you're happy I'm back, let me know. If you're not happy I'm back, don't let me know, because I don't, I don't care about your opinion. No, I'm just kidding. I care. I care. Let me know if you don't, if you're not happy. If you want to see more content sooner, like, I know you do, so I'm not even going to ask. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, I guess that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, stay tuned.